Welcome to New Life Fellowship, my brothers and sisters. I always excited to learn more from God, learn through His Word. The topic of my lesson today is pressure causes the real you to come out. You know, you yourself and me myself, sometimes we did not recognize ourselves that well. There is treasure that the Lord God has placed in our heart. This treasure take the Almighty God, take the God that has power to point it out to us. Sometimes God allows something to come into our heart to stir these things up as well. I'm going to read in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6 to 10. For God who said, let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory. Display in the face of Christ. But we have this treasure in jars of clay. Treasure. We have this treasure, Paul said, in jars of clay to show that this all surpassing power is from God. This treasure, his place in these jars of clay to show that his, this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. There's a power given to us from God. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. Pressed from every side. But not crushed. Perplexed. But not despair. Persecuted. But not abandoned. Struck down. But not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus. So that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our bodies. My brothers and sisters, God has placed the treasure in you and in me. This treasure is come, coming from the Lord God. So like I said, this pandemic thing, it stirs the world with fear. But this pandemic thing, it stirs the believers in the spirit of God. You know, we are suggested not to talk to people face to face without mask, limit on meeting people and all that. You cannot talk to people in public places, but you and I can talk to God. This time is valuable. God wants us to have a closer relationship with Him. You and I are already made by God with the gift that He placed in that heart. In your heart, in my heart, in your bodies, in my body. You and I, we need to draw it out. Like I said, sometimes we need God to draw that gift out. Sometimes God allows something, some issues around us, so that we can see, we can fight. We can see the gift that God has placed in our heart. 
pressure or crisis is good for people. It's not bad. Because I know that God that is in you and in me is stronger than God that who is in this world. I have three points for us today. Pressure could make real you. Pressure could make real you. When God created you, he placed treasure in there. Pressure could break you or makes you. If you are allow the pressure to crush you, you will be crushed. The demons and evil spirit in the world try to crush you. But if you have God, if you have the spirit of God, the spirit of God will help you and I to stand strong. To stand strong. We cannot be destroyed. We will be strong. We will be strong in God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not. He will not. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. Beyond what you can bear. He is faithful. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. You see, there is no temptation that overtake you and destroy you. God allow. God allow this temptation. God allow this pandemic to come in so that you will become a stronger man, stronger woman in God. When I prepared this lesson, you know, I, through praying and listening to God and stuff like that, and this is a picture of a man, a Jamaican man by the name of Jusan Bull. Jusan Bull is the fast, fastest runner. He ran for 10 kilometers under 35 minutes. He runs really fast. 10 kilometers under 35 minutes. But this guy, in the picture, you see it. It takes a lot of practice. Practice, 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 practice. He practiced a lot. His body endures a lot. Because of that, Jusan Bull became the world's fastest runner. You see? If you put it to practice, if you allow this and you learn from it, you will see the grace of God in there. And you will see the real you that God created you to be in there. So you made by God for the greatness, not bad. Point number two. You and I made us warriors. God made us to fight. God put something in there, in this heart, in your heart, to fight. Like David, when he faced Goliath, David does not afraid. And David starts small. David starts in his home village. David starts with looking after his father's animals. And he chased bears. And he killed bears. He kills lions. Therefore, David has experienced to kill Goliath. 
Another story in the Bible. This, this man by the name of Gideon. Gideon does not know. He doesn't think that he's a warrior. He doesn't think that he's great. Even though he, he tried the threshing wheat, he did it in the vine press and hiding from the army. He's afraid. He's not a warrior. He can't recognize himself as a warrior until the angels of the Lord come to Gideon. The angel call him a great mighty warrior. Oh, why you call me like that? I'm so fearful. I'm afraid. I, go, I, I will die. Our family will die. Our people will die. Because of the enemies coming to destroy our people. Gideon looking for warriors around him. But God said, you are the warriors. Nobody else. God made you and God made I a warrior. God made Gideon a warrior. In the book of Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and 3, Paul said to his disciple, Timothy, Suffer hardship with me as the good soldiers of Christ. Timothy, you can't just live an easy life. You live your life as a good soldier of Christ. This suffering, it's okay. You can take it. You can overcome it. My brothers and sisters, we have suffering in this life. But you don't live there. You trust in the Lord God. As a soldiers of Christ, you train my Christ. You get stronger and stronger each day. If you get trained by God. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 11. Finally, be strong in the Lord, Paul said. And in the strength of his might, put on the full armor of God. Paul said to the Ephesus people, put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the evil. Evil spirit and its demons have so many plans that cast out to destroy you and I. But the plan of God is better. God is good. He is with you. He said he will not leave you nor forsaking you. God plays a warrior heart. The warrior in you and I. We made to fight, and fight we win. We made we don't made to be a loser. We made to fight and win. With this world pandemic, sometimes you know, people think that this pandemic is going to wipe out the whole world. No, it's wiped the whole world with fear. But the mighty man and my mighty woman rise up. And take the place. I will stand and fight. I will stand and pray for my people, for my family, for my cities, for my country, for my church. You can do that. The Lord will help you to fight with this battle. You will become a great man, a great woman, a stronger warrior then you never ever experienced before. You will give glory to God because of this. This thing will end soon. I believe that. Point number three. Crisis of pressure could create opportunities. Creates opportunities. You know... As I thought about this, 
it reminded me in the 80s, in the late 80s, in my village. This one year, there was a drought. People in my village, they do farming according to the rain. Rain water, they do farming. But this one year, not enough rain. No rain at all. Everyone going around and complaining, we don't have food to eat, we don't have food to eat, we don't have food to eat. Because we cannot do farming. And this one gentleman, he thinks outside the box. <laughs> he got the farm. And so he drilled a well in his farm. And he pumped the water out and watered his rice field. You see, everyone complained. But that God placed something in that man's heart. In that man's idea, and he dig the well, and he pump the water, he can plant water his rice field. God, he's a great God. Even though people don't have opportunity to know and have relationship with him yet, but God loves them enough to protect them, to give them food to eat. In the book of Hebrew, chapter 12, Verse 27, the words, one more, indicate the removing of what can be shaken. That is, created things so that what cannot be shaken may remain. God allow the pressure. God allow the crisis to happen. So that people will not doing the unimportant things. The unimportant thing could be shaken, take it away. It's not useful. Anything that's not useful, just put it away. Anything that cannot be shaken will be remain. God allowed this crisis. I believe with all of my heart to help us to get stronger. I don't believe that God causes crisis. The devil causes harm, but God can fix it. God is forming a greatness out of you and out of me through this crisis. God is making Christ-like out of you and I. Through this, we will develop to be a man, to be a woman, look like Christ, behave like Christ, talk like Christ, have faith like Christ. Leader rises in the time of uncertainty. While everyone is hiding, that leader rise up and lead the people. I believe that God will help you in this. My brothers and sisters, I want to encourage us to not allow the spirit of fear to stir you up and to discourage you. But allow God to put the spirit of the living God to help you, to form you, to create a warrior's eye of you, to create an opportunity that you never, ever seen before. You will see it. Why don't we pray and allow God to help us right now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, Lord God, in this world pandemic, my brothers and sisters may be afraid, may be fearful. Lord, I invite you, your spirit, to be with every one of us and help us, Lord God, to see the real us. Help us to see that we are the real warriors. We can fight. 
we can win over these circumstances. And also, we can see the opportunity that you are about to show us, Lord God. Help us to stand strong and protect us from this evil one. Lord God, I believe that no one will be destroyed in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen.